The world is a strange planet, made of strange people, strange places, and strange events. These are the lists that expose the truth about the strangest things that happen here, on Earth, the strangest planet in the world. These are meek lists. Perhaps the strangest paranormal of them all is the one of coincidence. Two or more persons, items, or events linked mysteriously together in a sort of quantumly entangled fandango of the damned. One of the most well-known collections of Against Most Odds accidental collaborative efforts details the ethereal and eerie connections between two men with the same job, but who probably never had the opportunity to meet in real life. According to one of the largest Wikipedias, claimed coincidences connecting US Presidents Abraham Lincoln and John F. Kennedy are a piece of American folklore of unknown origin. It then goes on to state in the very next sentence that the list of coincidences appeared in the mainstream American press in 1964, a year after the assassination of John F. Kennedy, having appeared prior to that in the GOP Congressional Committee newsletter, which, to be honest, makes me question the part about unknown origins because that sounds pretty specific. While it has long been acknowledged that these unnatural and unexplainable coincidences do indeed for absolute certain exist, a presumably newer and frighteningly startling second list began circulating the internet in mid-2021 amid the lows and frustrations of the COVID pandemic. Five scary Lincoln JFK coincidences only discovered in 2021. Number five, both men assassinated while wearing pants. While the initial list of assassination-related coincidences went to great lengths in an effort to prove that both Lincoln and Kennedy were killed while wearing socks emblazoned with the presidential seal and the words kick-ass prez, researchers have since proved that these were part of the official presidential wardrobe all the way up into the late stages of the Nixon administration. A similar rumor was finally put to rest in 2021, however, after Nick Wittens, photography expert at the Smithsonian Institute, was able to analyze newly discovered daguerreotypes found in the glove box of a carelessly overlooked 1998 Chrysler Sebring parked within the Institute's storage area. Using close-up image analysis strategies and a magnifying glass, Wittens was able to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that both Lincoln and Kennedy were indeed wearing ankle-length pants or trousers when they were shot. An ominous trend? Perhaps. The long-rumored Lincoln-Kennedy pants curse is still subtly acknowledged by certain superstitious career politicians to this day, and has indirectly led to several public gaffes involving the likes of Congressional Representative Anthony Weiner and even once President William Jefferson Clinton, the saxophone one. Number four. In the seven days prior to both assassinations, both men had eaten beef. While both Lincoln and Kennedy were self-proclaimed chicken wing fanatics, both men had eaten at least one meal containing the animal ingredient beef in the preceding seven days. The health disadvantages of a diet rich in beef material have long been touted by nutritionists, but aside from these two cases, have never been known to act so swiftly to take the life of a current president. Processed meats in general can wreak havoc on the large toe of an individual, thanks to an extreme arthritic condition known simply as gout, an issue potentially on the rise for both men beast, and cryptid alike in the chilly southwestern lake areas of Canada. Coincidence? Yes. Number three. The last names of Assassin's Booth and Oswald both contain an odd number of letters and at least one O. Number two. Both men predicted future United States struggles hours before death. A yellowed abomination, tiny digits, were five of late President Abraham Lincoln's final feverish words as he lay on his deathbed. An advisor had asked the dying Lincoln his greatest fears for the future of the Union, perhaps referring to a return of slavery or the racism problem Lincoln had just solved. Similarly, Kennedy offered what may have been his own prognosis on the future when he whispered that his apprentice was only a warning of worse things to come. But considering Kennedy employed no apprentice at the time, this statement is often overlooked by historians. Number one. Both men shot with bullets from guns which caused permanent death. Of the several dozen possible projectiles either assassin could have chosen to load into the weaponry they used to shoot their respective presidents, both men chose not only bullets, but bullets that caused permanent death. While assassins throughout history have chosen this ammunition for their vile deeds, the fact that two presidents so closely related in coincidental similarities were dispatched in this way is, perhaps, beyond coincidence. Historian Peter Wing has been quoted on the topic of the near-mathematical impossibility that both men were killed in this same way, stating, 
People are shot and killed all the time. Have you been to a grade school lately? He continued, To me, this makes perfect sense. Or does it? Perhaps this, too, is simply a coincidence, the merging of two singular, unrelated points on Destiny's timeline of the paranormals.